Okay, in this tutorial I just want to look at using layers and uh, using the, the basics of layers. Um, a lot of people use them, a lot of people don't. I find them very useful. So uh, let's um, start off by looking at the layers gallery. Okay, uh, here I've uh, a ZAR file, nothing in it whatsoever at the moment. Um, I'm going to open the layers gallery. And there that kind of little multi-page um, pages pile up on each other layers gallery click on that opens up the layers gallery and first thing to notice about the layers gallery is that um, it's split into foreground layers and background layers um, looking at this gray area okay um, foreground layers background layers We'll get back to those in a second. Um, we also then have these, this eye icon. Uh, eye there. Um, with this column below it, that can be with tick boxes. Um, and you have the, like a selector tool icon, which is the editable um, icon. Okay. So, and then you have this highlighted grey area here so as I click on each layer um, apart from the guys layer it, the the layer that I'm working in becomes highlighted so the first thing to understand more than anything else is that the area that you're the layer that you're working in is highlighted by the gray area so in this case I'm working in background background one if I click on here I'm working in layers one guys actually turns red but that's uh, neither here nor there that means I'm working the guys layer but guys layers the only layer that actually does that um, color difference okay so we looked at that um, now let's look at the um, making something visible and editable so I've now made layer one that's highlighted see the gray area layer one is highlighted it's visible little eye there is visible and the arrow underneath says it's editable. So, okay, I want to create a rectangle in that layer. So now layer one contains a rectangle. Um, that's not really um, very helpful for me to rem remember what layer one contains a rectangle. But if I go into properties, I can actually rename layer one to from layer one to rectangle. I'll apply that, I'll click close. There you'll notice they, that layer one is named rectangle. And if I click either both of those icons, you can see that the rectangle is no longer visible. If I click visible again, it becomes visible. Make it invisible, it disappears. The other thing to notice that even though our rectangle is still editable but not visible, I can't select it. I'm clicking away like hell here, I can't select it. And that's just as well because you wouldn't want to be selecting things that were invisible. So that's the way that you can create objects. Now, say you want to now make um, a second object. Uh, and put it on a new layer then the first thing you have to do is click on the new layer um, option up here and that brings up a new layer and you get this, at the moment it's called layer three be layer two I don't know and we'll call this circle because I want to create a circle on this layer and click OK now I don't want to by accident be selecting that rectangle so I'll make that layer the rectangle layer uneditable then when I click on that, you notice I'm clicking like mad now, you notice that it can't be selected. I'm in the circle layer because the circle layer has got that grey highlight. It's both visible and editable. I'll select the circle tool and I'll hold down the control key. Uh, let's go and change that colour a bit. Um, Change the line colour. Uh, 
and there I have in the circle there a new circle um, if for some reason I don't want to see the rectangle I can click on that that hides the rectangle put the rectangle back if I didn't want to see the circle I can make the circle invisible notice that whilst the circle is invisible and nothing else is editable here and I can click and still could not actually select anything as soon as it's visible again I can select it and move it around so there you have the basics of how to do on layers the one that we haven't touched and I'll just make these uneditable for the minute is a background layer here's a background layer and what I've got in this background layer is a picture of a couple of horses um, and I could say I wanted to go and make a new layer here I'm going to call this horses lines for anything uh, so what I'm actually doing is the background layer is here uh, I can't edit it because it's no longer editable I don't want to move that from where it is um, I'm working in horses lines the other layers are invisible and not editable uh, horses lines are there now what I'm going to do is just use the pen tool for sake of argument uh, and draw around this horse and I'll do this very quickly um, So I've now quickly drawn a shape of that horse in that in that layer. Um, the beauty of that is that if I came to print it, the, the photograph that lays in the background layer is not printed. Only the layer that above the background layer, the foreground layers are printed. The background layer is not printed. Obviously, I mean. <laughs> You wouldn't want to print something with a horse shape that uh, rough at the moment, but it's just trying to explain that the background layer can be editable, but it will never ever print. Whatever you put in the background layer will never print. Anyway, um, hope that will help. Um, there's another tutorial that goes into it in a bit more depth that um, possibly um, will help you, but we'll we'll see. Thanks a lot. Cheers.